upon a time, there was a joke. He drank coffee too much. This unfortunately led to his untimely demise. A caffeine crash. Or at least that's what the doctor said. Joe exited the doctor's office, saying he would help me out more coffee. Now this was a problem, as Joe had drank all the coffee in all of the coffee seeds. It was at this moment, Joe knew he messed up. But when he messed up, there was only one thing that could be done. He started doing a coffee dance, basically a rain dance, but for coffee. And suddenly, clouds started appearing. The whole town gathered round, looking up into the sky. As something that appeared to be like brown rain started falling from the sky. It was T, his arch nemesis. Joe realized he had done the wrong dance. He writhed in pain. The entire British forces had appeared to collect the tea. They brought along ginormous teacups and collected the tea, squashing a few people in the process. But the tea rain would not stop. Soon, the whole town was flooded with tea, which brought the teapocalypse. Many years later, there was a new world for new tea humans and new, annoying tea squirrels. Joe was older, wiser, and very depressed. It was Hair never fully dried, still dampened from the teetle wave that overcame his world many years ago. He has now used his currency and coffee as banned, as coffee killed the world before. And because of this, and the stupid tea squirrels, Joe hates his life. There are still people illegally smuggling coffee. Joe starts off the life of coffee smuggling, thinking he has nothing more to lose. And he is doing well, he finally gets coffee again until the entirety of the British forces catch him again. They torture Joe by feeding him tea. He slowly starts to like tea, then reminds himself of what tea did to his past life. He meets another coffee smuggler named Dave. Dave turns out to be his old preschool BFF. Dave tells him how he once drank part of the coffee seeds. Dave had told Joe about a special treasure of coffee beans at the bottom of the coffee seeds. Joe wonders if he should go now or wait two minutes. Joe thinks it'll be easy, as Joe had already drank the seeds, so he decides to go now, to be continued. Dun dun dun!